Okay, this is the spinal cord longitudinal model. First you have, this is your spinal cord. The spinal cord ends down here at the conus medullaris. Notice that it is about L2. This right here, these are your ribs. So this would be your vertebra L1 and this would be vertebra L2. So you can see the spinal cord ends here. You have spinal nerves that are inferior to the spinal cord that stay within the vertebra and that's called your caudal equina. It was supposed to look like a horse's tail. Caudal equina is this all, all of these string-like structures here. They're all spinal nerves. Okay, the spinal nerves and the spinal cord are all going to be attached down here to your coccyx bone and that is your phylum terminale. Down here at the coccyx bone, your spinal cord has a lot of connective tissue to hold it in place and it's connected here at your coccyx bone by the phylum terminale. Okay. These spinal nerves are going to come off. Um, they pass through the intervertebral foramen and sometimes they're going to share information with each other and they're going to form a plexus. If you notice this one right here comes down and it meets with the nerve that came out inferior to it and then it actually looks like it, feel, it serves as one nerve. These nerves right here are all going to go to the arm and they make up the brachial plexus. If you come down, notice that there is no plexus in your thoracic region. All of your thoracic spinal nerves are going to serve your intervertebral, in no, not intervertebral, intercostal muscles. Okay, come down and you can see your lumbar region and they start braiding together. And right in here is a real thick braid here. So this is your lumbar plexus. Come down, they have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is lumbar number five. And you have your sacral region here. Let me turn it to the side just a tad. You can see your sacral nerves come out and they are going to form a plexus and that's called your sacral plexus. So what do you have on this model? You have the brachial plexus, lumbar plexus, sacral plexus, the spinal cord here, and it ends at L2 with the conus medullaris. You have the caudal equina that are going to stay within the vertebra. Down here at the coccyx bone where all the pencil marks are, you can see that's where the connective tissue would be for the spinal cord to hold it in place, and that's called the phylum terminale. The only thing we did miss this, do you notice these little um, kind of peachy colored structures here? Those are all ganglia, and you can see that in yellow, they're tied together, right? So that is called the sympathetic ganglia. Those are sympathetic ganglia, and they're chained together. So this one right here is actually loose on your model, the sympathetic ganglion and chain.